That's the last time this motor's gonna run in this car. Why well, I feel like somebody's watching me? The reason it's coming out is because because I'm bored. Because I wanted to build a K, but not actual built. So it's all built with factory parts. So it's just a fresh enough K with a couple little tweaks. This motor's been good. It's been drifting five years now. Five years it's been boosted. No problems until I think it was the very first event of this year. I think having the small turbo on it, which isn't real small, but it spools very early, caused it to stretch the head bolts and lift the head slightly. And it had just a, a small cooling issue to where it would build an air pocket and a radiator. And then it had had a little bit of trouble keeping temp. When I say keeping temp, I mean below 200. So for most people, they let them get a lot hotter. My point where I get a little nervous is around 200 degrees. I don't like it to get any hotter than that. So lifted the head. Uh, last event of this year, went to the Halloween Bash at Kilco Raceway in Ohio. Just before that, I decided it was time to do a head gasket on it. I drifted all year with it having that issue because I always thought it was something else like a small leak in the cooling system somewhere where it was getting air. But I finally figured out or just gave in and it was a head gasket. So just before the event, uh, pulled the head, put a new gasket on it, uh, fell for a gasket, a little bit of copper spray, torque everything back down, drove the car, uh, did a couple heat cycles with it. It, it started pulling coolant back from the reservoir back into the radiator, which is what the issue was before, is it would build that air pocket, it wouldn't pull coolant back, it would just push out. It was putting coolant back into the radiator, no air pockets, ran fine just the way it did. It's said awesome. So, drove it to Ohio. Uh, I think the first session of the first day, it lifted the head again. So, time for studs. So, we'll pull this motor out, even though it still runs and everything. Uh, the other motor is a, not sure if it's an S14 or S13 motor. I had a couple lying around, so it's got just a mixed match of parts on it. But it's uh, all factory Nissan parts. It's a uh, I mean, stock motor, essentially. So it's got the 248-232 cam swap. I redrilled the uh, cam gear to get the cam timing correct for that. Uh, it's got single cam pistons in it, which according to the internet, it's supposed to net you somewhere around like 11.5 to 1 compression range. And I just trusted the internet on that, but out of curiosity, after I started assembling the motor, I was like, started coming across uh, compression calculators. So I went and got all the specs, which I think I got from the Tomei site. They have the, uh, the uh, combustion chamber size, so you can plug all the numbers in to see what it does. And turns out this is closer to a 12.6 to 1 motor. And then on top of that, I, when I milled the head, just to make sure it was flat again, I took about, I think it was 15 thou off or something. So it's closer to like 12.7 or so to 1 compression. A little bit on the high side, but we're going to see what happens. It'll be strictly on E85 for the most part, other than I might run pump gas just to get to and from events and just take the ethanol with me. But yeah, it's just so high compression single cam pistons, or factory single cam pistons, which will make it high compression. Uh, the hot factory cam swap. Uh, I didn't do any port polishing work, I didn't do any of that stuff. It's got uh, S14 upper intake manifold on it, so no secondary butterflies. All the BS is removed off of it. And the only other thing that'll make it interesting is everything is rim polished. I mean everything. Everything I could fit in the machine that would run polished up. So the cams, the buckets, the shims, the valve springs, the valves, the rods, the wrist pins, the crank, the timing gears, uh, like just everything that would go into that machine got rim polished. Some people don't know what it is. It's, it's kind of the same thing as just like a, it's like a micro polishing I guess. But just they run some chemicals through it too. It just it's supposed to make stuff last longer. They use it in racing for like uh, gearbox, like gear sets, because it makes it last longer and you get a little bit more horsepower because there's less friction. So 
So everything in the motors were unpolished, high compression, and it, it was I built it with factory head bolts because I know KAs that make 500 horsepower and don't lift the head with factory head bolts. But since I lifted this one twice now, I went ahead and got ARP head studs. So I have to take the top end apart, put those in, and that'll be the only aftermarket part on the motor. So for now, yeah, we'll start pulling this thing out. I'm probably gonna clean up the bay a little bit, just do what I can. Uh, paint the bay, just a roll on Rosolia paint. But it's been a while since I made videos, so I thought I'd document this one and just kind of do a little walkthrough in case anybody has any questions or anything like that. Even there's like two people that follow Brandon Trout. I know you watch these. Probably the only ones that watch these. Alright, let's start pulling stuff apart.